Previously on Banner Lord. People here better wake up. What? Why are the music cues up here in the north so scary? And so it continues. I oh those eyes like saucers. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. They know me as Einar. I'm Veta. I've heard of you. Your name strikes fear in men's hearts. That is the best kind of reputation to have. Perhaps we may have interests in common. Interesting. I heard you may need some help with the problem. I've got a problem. And her name is Brynja the Goats. Her people have been coming around outside the walls, robbing the dice players and the drinkers, enjoying themselves under our protection. Me and my boys are eager to teach them a lesson, but I figure some extra muscle wouldn't hurt. What exactly do you want me to do? We're preparing for an attack, but we need some time to gather our men. Meet me here in Tyal after three days and we'll strike them together. Any other way? If you'd rather not go into the fray yourself, you can leave me one of your companions together with six or so good men. If you stuck around for two days, I'd count it a very big favor. Oh, I will fight this with you. Myself. Great. As I said, we need minimum three days to prepare. I will remind you when we are ready to move. Just don't leave the town before we settle this matter. Well. I suppose we'll be staying in town then. Girls? She was freaking terrifying. Did you see her, Vicinia? I thought your eyes were big, but this is a whole other level. Regardless, she's a powerful person. She might give us contacts in high places. I mean, are you... There you go. Let's see. Let's hang out for a little while, I think. We're just gonna hang out in town, check the arena, and then see... She's the only gangster with a cool name? Yeah, actually... She's not like Vita Sourwine. Hey, Iskrimor. Uh, we've had some losses down south, so we've traveled north, and we're getting involved in some gang warfare over here. Get me Tara face ma- that's rude. Okay. So, I think... Okay, let's wait here then. I've... That should be what we're supposed to do. Come back when they have their final... Okay. So... We're just gonna have a Mitara spa day. Just gonna wait around a little bit in town. Can I leave town during a quest like this? Because I could leave and then come back, right? But I'm also curious about waiting a bit, since that might mean a tournament in the north. Oh. Uh, price is brass scale shoulders? We have to... Okay, how are we gonna win this? We've lost two tournaments back to back down south. But now, there's a real price on the line, and we're in the north. That arena is brutal. Oh, it's gonna be a two-on-two. -two. Oh, I want those! They're shimmering! <sighs> Imperial Archer versus Vicinia Willowbark. Let's freaking go. Vicinia in blue, Vicinia in blue! I believe in you, girl. Don't let him get to you. There we go. Use the shield. You know it. I'm like an over-eager mom at a soccer match. Get him! Stab him! Yeah, I really am just like an over-eager mom at a soccer- <gasps> Vicinia! Get him! Do not fail me. Vicinia! <sighs> you did good, girl. Victory! Indeed, Vicinia. That is a, a fitting word. Now I shall join you in the bracket. It's me versus Sturgeon Veteran Warrior. Where is the Veteran Warrior? Oh, okay. He's just a level 26. One of the advancements from the Sturgeon Spearman. Almost like the Ulfednar himself. I cannot lose on the first round of a tournament. I cannot. I will not. Vicinia freaking made it.
Let's do this. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm in front, I'm seeing a beard! Oh, oh, that was scary. Okay. Good thing we have access though, because this shield is eventually gonna break. Oh. Ooh, that was a nasty one, mister. Oh, he's not good at keeping his guard up though. Oh! I need to shut my big, stupid mouth and use it to just breathe. How is he getting past the shield? I I tried to race it at a certain angle, but he raced it at another one. I don't think I was precise enough with my movements. Well, that went well. Gosh, we're on a loose streak right now. At least we got a first. Come on, Timmy. Go, Timmy. Timmy! I, you keep changing ethnicities and that's fine with me. I don't judge you. Di Wait, that wasn't Timmy. No, that was not Timmy. Timmy is the expert thug. Th that was not Timmy. That was just a distant cousin. Mitara is gonna fight Timmy. Okay. Here they go. Mitara in red. Timmy in blue. I don't know who I'm gonna vote for here. <gasps> oh my. Timmy, don't you strike my woman. Oh, Mitara looks so... Holy heck, Mitara! Victory! That is not the voice I had in my head for you. Holy heck. Blug Break Skull is fighting here too. Let's have a look at Blug. Mitara might still win this. That was Jimmy, Jimmy the Thug, yeah. Okay. Blug Break Skull. Holy heck! This guy is... Yeah? And we'll skip that round. Okay. So it's Mitara versus Vicinia and Blag right there. This is actually entertainment in and of itself. Okay, red team Mitara, blue team Vicinia. Okay, here's Vicinia fighting. Oh, oh, she's getting surrounded. There's a spear man behind you. Where's Mitara? Is Mitara on the horse? No. Vicinia is down. Vicinia is down. Mitara is shooting them from a distance. Oh. Go, Mitara. Don't let him get to you. Oh, she got a hit in on the horse there. She knows where to aim. She's been learning from Einar. Kill the horse. Make it suffer. Oh, Mitara. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, no. My sweet. My dear. It's over. Red team is going down. Thanks to the might of Blug Break Skull over here. Who is this man? And why do I want him on my team? Vicinia's in the finale or the semi-finals versus Blug. Go, Vicinia! Vicinia and Blue over here. <gasps> Vicinia versus Blug! The battle of a lifetime right here. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh no, 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 no. My sweets. Oh, Vicinia, she knows how to use that spear. She knows how to handle it. Don't let, her, don't let him get to you, Vicinia. No, Vicinia, come on. The darklings are cheering. They're all cheering for you. Blug does look a little bit like Martha. Blug fell too. The two named warriors, they both fell. I think that means... Oh, Blug somehow made it to the finale? Sure. Let me see if Blug can do it. Can she handle Einar's spear though? I don't know, it has been... It is pretty big as we have established. Alright Blug, are you worthy of serving alongside me and my crew? Prove it to me. Right here, right now. Whether you win or lose this will influence my opinion of you. Now, I went down in like the first round, so I'm not. not a lot to say. Ugh. Oh, so. I love the bosses. So awkward. 
All right. Disappointment all around. Disappointment all around. Nobody good even won. Oh. Einar doesn't have a spear, he has a twig. Ice cold, you guys. Ice cold. Let's visit the tavern. I need to drink my sorrows away. What happened? I once did so well. Ah. Quite a tune. I did not recognize you without blood on your face. You must be the famed Blark Blake Breakskull. Uh, of course, I've heard a few things about you. I saw your fight against the Grand Champion. Hello. Hi. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. I am Einar. Ah, uh, my story. Jealousy. Envy of my talents. That's always been my undoing. When I was a boy, I was the best fighter in my village. You're stronger as a boy than a full-grown warrior, people would say. Now, I'm not boasting here, that's what they tell me. <laughs> so when I came of age, I went off to make my fortune. Started in a vaguer guard, I found that I was the only real warrior among them. They were all about marching here and there in their pretty uniforms, not pulling sword from scabbard for months on end. I told them what I thought, and my captain told me to keep my mouth shut or leave. So I left. Then I joined the Skulderbrotva, the Shield Brothers. It's a good name, don't you think? They spent most of their time hunkering behind their shields. Ha! Me? I'd wade into the midst of the enemy, dealing out death right and left. And well, all they had to say afterward was, why didn't you keep ranks? Huh, that was a strange response. So I'm having no more of that. I'm on the lookout for an outfit that employs real fighters. <laughs> Einar breathes. NPC. So basically, when I was a child, right now I'm between jobs, I could use someone like you. That seems reasonable. Blarg Breakskull is on our team. Something good had to come out of this trip. I think this is- I think this is good. Ow, but- Oh no, don't- I, ca I can't take another- I can't play- I don't- I don't want to play checks- checkers. Not now. Oh. What is up here? Oh, this is where the party's at! Nobody invited me. Ooh. Look at them just standing there, though, and like, the lighting and- I wish there were some actual conversations here, but- Knowing how conversations in RPGs sound like, like Oblivion when you're listening in. Saw a mud crab down by the shore the other day. Nasty creatures. I thought it was a one-legged bard. Oh my gosh. Where does that backing melody come from? That's amazing. Alright, oh wait, his name is Blug? Oh, I've been saying Blarg. Why have I been saying Blarg? It's definitely Blarg. He is Blarg from now on. You cannot change my name. M my name? My mind. You can't change my name either. That stays. We're probably gonna lose somebody in the party, so I think I'm just going to toss a peasant out into the cold and watch him starve. Simply because I don't want any good people actually leaving the party now that it's a little... overcrowded. <laughs> That was... I don't know what's going on. This this has just been a downwards trajectory for us. It was supposed to be us getting the north. <gasps> My girls. You're both with me. Now, I had some talks in there with a strange old man. I have your attention, I see. Can I have a little less of your attention? Because this is a lot right now. Oh, there. It's hard. There's a certain jealousy here. I feel like I need to clear up a few things. Let's find an idyllic spot, and then... I have a plan for how I can fix this problem of ours. I just need a quiet place. Yes. However, 
Vasinia, I will need you to wait below. Come on down. Don't be shy. Hello, Stefan. Captain. Gather all my companions in the city and find me. Well, that's kind of cool. You can stop following me now, thanks. Mitara, come. Come, come, come. I bet Mitara and Basinga don't even feel anything for Einar. That is so not true. <sighs> Merlon? Who is Merlon? What am I what am I looking at that is Merlon? Something over here is Merlon. Are the rocks Merlon? Hello, Merlon. Nice to... Oh. Do you see the cold breeze, Mitara? I see it. I have composed a poem that I would very much like to read to you. Give me just... just a moment. Einar, ah, me, 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 me. Okay. My poem is ready. <clears throat> Now, keep in mind, Matara, it's uh, been quite a while since I've sung anything like this, so, you know, here we go. <clears throat> On a winter day, far away from our home, we roam, riding side by side, I can't hide my own heart. Oh, Matara, past an icy fjord, Raider horde sail forth in the north, and as brave men die, you and I split apart. Snowstorms engulf us and block the stars. Shadows fall over what once was us. The north wants to claim my life, rife with pain, loss, and plenty of strife. In the cold storm I can see a light Companions fighting with all their might And among them is you The one I've yearned to woo I've longed and I've longed For me to the road Now that was just something I, I whipped up on the spot, Mitara, I haven't been <laughs> thinking uh, about you a lot lately, I, uh, I, uh, Matara. Oh, this is what's between us. It's, it's something truly. She smiled. Oh my God. Did you guys see that smile? Did you guys see that smile? Did you freaking see it? That was insane. Oh, Mitara, this is so good. Now, Mitara, I've, I've, I've said my piece to you. You can stop following me. <sighs> Vicinia, it's time we had a talk. Follow me. I've been wanting to say something to you. For a long time now. And I feel this is... This is the time. This is the time to do it. So. Vasinia. Gracious. What a hero. Travis says, hey, that was actually pretty... Oh, Vasinia, do not be so shy. Vas Vasinia, just... Just listen to my words. And it will be okay. <coughs> On a winter day, far away from our home We roam, riding side by side I can't hide my own heart Past an icy fjord, raider hordes sail forth In the north, and us brave men die You and I split apart I know it's sad, isn't it? Snowstorms engulf us and block the stars Shadows fall over what once was ours The North wants to claim my life rife With pain, loss and plenty of strife In the cold storm I can see a light 
companions fighting with all their might. And among them is you, the one I've yearned to woo. We touch, my mind goes blank. Vasinia will low bank. <sighs> I know. Here we are, standing at the at the top of the world, just just you and I. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can I can give you a hug. Yes, that's. <sighs> We've had some good times, Vasinia. I just. I just needed to know that we were on the same side, yeah? Good. Mitar- Hopefully Mitara's not watching, this is gonna- ah, She prop- she did- she didn't. Just, uh, keep this on the- the DL, okay? Keep it on the down low, okay? Nobody can know. Yeah? We good? Alright, we're good. Mitara! Yes, we are ready to move on now. Just a minor, a minor hiccup, you, uh, you guys, but we did it. We did it indeed. So, <laughs> I, okay, Einar is just, he's just keeping his opportunities open, okay? <laughs> Stop making fun of me for getting the name wrong, Einar can't read, I mean, true. Einar's a thirsty man, what can I say? <laughs> Men only want one thing, and it's effing disgusting. One troop of the oh, I was supposed to kick a guy, whatever. Probably wasn't that- Oh my god, I swear if Timmy left. I will literally- He's not here. No. He's actually left the party. Timmy actually freaking left the party. I didn't get to sing for him. I, I know where, Timmy. I can't leave the city, but Yorig, have you seen Timmy? I, I, I can't. He bailed. Peace to you. But I, have you seen Timmy? Could you tell me about the Battle of Pendrake? Also, have you seen Timmy? I wasn't there. Raganvad has some thoughts about it. Yeah, but isn't he like the prince of e everything northern? Oh, it's just a ruler of Sturgia. I guess we'll need to seek out a ruler of Sturgia if you want more answers. Timmy left when he lost all his respect. Timmy was disgusted by Einar simping. Gracious, what a hero! Harold Hellfury! Oh boy. <laughs> I have done some weird things canonically right now. What was it? Trained thug? What did what did he become after thug? We might be able to find him standing around somewhere. Dan says character development. Scheduled gang warfare. Yes, it's on the calendar, boys. This entire stream made your week. I'm glad Postal Ballet. Einar, it's been a while. Yeah, don't get any ideas. I'm in a terrible mood. About the task. I'll send a runner. I am waiting for your runner. Alright, let's look for him around town. In 50 episodes, Timmy will come back to haunt us. Yeah, he's gonna be at the head of a rivaling faction. I'm gonna go kick a goose. Go! Delivered three blunt damage. That's right, goose! This is for Timmy! This is for Timmy! <laughs> this is for Timmy. <laughs> Mitara, where did I go wrong? All I did was sing to you and share my love for you. Goose! Leave! Well, we'll be running around for a runner anyways. Mitara, we need to have a chat about this. Gather all my companions in the city and find me. Good. I don't know if anybody- she's gonna go looking. Ah, <sighs> well then. There will come a day when the geese won't take it anymore and they'll rise up. This is actually a prequel to Untitled Goose Game. Very few people know that. But it's there if you, if you look deep enough for the hints. 
What am I supposed to do? Standing here in the freezing cold north and I'm having conflicting feelings about my companions. Do I have to make a poem about Blarg Break Skull now? I do not know. I don't know what awaits us. I wonder if Mitara is gonna eventually come back. Is that Blarg? Blarg! You, oh, you bald, beautiful boy. Captain. I would like to check out Blarg's stats, because I have no idea what his stats are. Einar lost his eye to a goose. I mean... Blarg Break Skull. Look at this guy. Riding and athletics is really good. But he can't do any of, like, the extra stuff that I kind of need him for. But still, he looks like a beast. We gotta get him outfitted. I might get him some basic supplies from the shop. Mitara's ga gathering the others. So, uh... I don't know what position I should put him in. For now, though, come sit with me, Blarg. Ugh. You see, there are women. Oh! Never- Oh, oh gosh, Mitara. Okay, well... They're all here now. The party has been gathered. Now we just wait for the runner to come. It's a little awkward when it's all of us, isn't it? What if Timmy joined up with the thugs in town? That's actually a little spooky. No, he's probably off on his own somewhere. We'll find him again one day. He doesn't hate us. I think. I think. Okay, so it's not a physical messenger, it's just a uh, notification. <sighs> what do you call it when Einar meets up with his companions? A foursome. Guys, Einar respects his companions, okay? He even crafted a very unique, special poem for them, okay? It took him a long time to write that. It really did. Are you ready for the fight? Vida, today's been a turbulent day. Now I just want to kick some freaking thug butt. No, no off Your mouth is crooked. Most things about you are crooked, but so is my morality. So let's go. In reality, he hired a bard to write it. Yeah, behind the scenes. Timmy might be at the tavern. We need- we, yeah, we, we need to go check out the tavern, actually. If not... Oh no, I'm in Beardo Vision. Beardo Vision activates. Oh, they're coming. Men! We end them here. Oh, it's like we're in some sort of uh, musical. <gasps> Brynja the goats coming to fight me, eh? They're gonna throw down. Did Vita the widow put you up to this? Looks like there's no need for bloodshed. This town is big enough for all of us. But if bloodshed is what you want, I will be happy to provide. Look at those. These must be some sort of reanimated corpses. That's the only explanation I have right here. This shot is great of Einar though. What I want to say is, you don't need to be a part of this. I'll double whatever she's paying you. <gasps> I can get twice the price? You thought her name was Brina the Goose? The ultimate twist. I gave my word to Vita the Widow. I will not be bought. My soul is worth more than that. Your man is poking his pitchfork through his own nipple there, madame. I fear no weaklings like you. You will regret this. We shall see. Axe out! Charge! Oh, uh, look at these peasants with their pitch- Whoa! Pitchfork, I I've killed men with pitchforks myself. Give me that, I'll show you how it's used. Ah. Well, good job, men. <laughs> I'm proud of you boys. I don't need my companions for when there's some good stabbing. Ah! 
Uh, I know I needed a night out with the boys, man. Renown, influence, and morale, everybody. Ah. Wonderful. Einar is a man of his word. He is. You can trust him. You killed a man with a pitchfork, not men. Why are you gonna be like that, Potato? Why are you gonna be like that? <laughs> ah, now that was as good a fight as any I've had. Here, take this purse. You deserve it. Okay. Vita the Widow. Brynja the Goat didn't like that, but... Whatever, she can go hang out with her goat family doing goat things. Victory, Mr. Goose! Get out of here! Yeah. Very well! We have made a powerful ally in the north. And some powerful enemies. Also, we lost Timmy. We have one final shot at redemption. If I seek out the tavern, maybe we will see Timmy looking for somebody to take him into the party again. I... I feel like I let him down. I, I feel like I let him down. So I want... We need to stop that. Let's see. Is this... This is not a tavern. I shall find the tavern one of these days. Oh, I have to go through the, the bridge with the troll. Stay away. Oh, the geese, too. Just truly too much. The rest of this series will be to find Timmy and make amends for our actions. I mean, that's much better than taking over empires, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Timmy! I, I just, I need, I need, I need to talk with him. It's big, it's been a big misunderstanding. Oh. I'm surprised Einar didn't take the goat lady and the widow aside and read them the same poem. Gosh darn it, that would have been really great, huh? wouldn't it? <laughs> I've embarrassed myself enough for one day, I think. Have you seen Timmy? A short uh, man with who changes ethnicities, ethnicities and mustaches at a townsman. Have you seen Timmy? Ah, the Vlandians have- I do not care about your petty wars. This is bigger than us, man. Townsman, have you seen Timmy? This winter, kids are all coughing and wheezing. My old ma's been bedbound for a month. Can't afford coals for the stove at nights. Spring thaw can't come fast enough for me. Ah, oh, my apologies, sir. You. Uh, musician. Oh, the maidens of revel are merry and fair, plotting their mischief with flowers in their hair. Were I still young man, the, the, were I still a young man, I sure would be there, but now I'll take warmth over trouble. Play on, good man. Truly, song for the ages. Timmy? Has, has anybody seen? Mercenary scout. Do you have word of Timmy? I no, he's he's. Timmy's not here. Well, yeah, I'm on the table. Try to stop, please. Well then. Oh. Guys and girls, I think we're going to conclude this episode right here. It's definitely been an interesting episode. Lots of character development. Lots of... This next episode, we need to go north. We need to find raiders, we need to beat them, gear up our new companions, and actually gain some respect. Because today we've lost respect. But we've had some good moments. So, tune in. Somebody's stamping about somewhere. That guy's practicing the shuffle, that's fine. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody. Stay dark. Goodbye.